What is up? We are live. Make sure the sound is good. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to put in a Sam's Club order, an actual live order that we will be putting in this week. Hope everybody's doing good. Remember hillvending.com forward slash start, get the free download. But let's hop right into it. A lot of people ask, where do you get your product from? How do you, uh, you know, deal with your inventory and all those sorts of things. So in this video, I figured while I'm making the Sam's Club order, let's go ahead and do a little ride along, if you will. So I will pull this up here. All right, samsclub.com, just make your account, right? Very simple. Now, if, if you'll see here at the top, I have a list right here, Sam's Club list. I don't think if you can see my cursor. So there's 108 items on that list that's already pre-made that I purchased from Sam's. And uh, that way you don't have to search through all the different products each time and type them in the search bar. But I've already added the items into the cart to make it simple. So we'll go to the cart here. Let's see if this is gonna work. We'll go to the cart here. Okay, this is an important thing to look at. Um, obviously 429 items, $6,000, um, shipping, uh, shipping right here. I don't want these shipped. So you have to make sure that they do not, uh, auto flip some of your items to ship. So right here, monster energy drink, they're going to ship 10 of those cases. So we're going to change that to pick up instead. Okay. What's next? Uh, honey buns 20 honey buns we're gonna pick those up and not have them delivered shipping 22 items now this the only option for these crackers is shipping so I'm just gonna remove them from the order what else they limit on these crackers they'll give me two let me see if we can change that to five Okay, so we save that in there. Now we're gonna say pick up instead. I want all this wrapped on a pallet, ready to go to bring to the warehouse, not shipped all over um, and dealing with that. Let's see what else is shipping. Nope, pick up instead. Arizona green tea. Think about the cost of this. They're gonna ship 10 cases of Arizona green tea for free. So they're not offering a pickup option here so I'm just gonna have to remove from the order. So keep that in mind on your order. Then you go peruse through your order, 10 of those, 10 of those. Okay, so one vitamin water when we really wanted 10. So we'll go ahead and update that. And just look and make sure everything's good. Again, if you're smaller and you want the stuff to ship to your house and you're a Prime member, by all means, have them ship it to uh, ship it to your house and you don't have to worry about it. Okay. You don't have to worry about going to the store and dealing with all that. Although your dates might not be in, uh, I'll keep this in mind too. Mountain Dew and Pepsi 75 each because that is a full pallet of Mountain Dew instead of ordering 20 cases here, 20, those are full pallet numbers. So the quantity is uh, 75 each on those. So obviously a full pallet of Mountain Dew, full pallet of Pepsi, what else do we have? Some NOS, different stuff. If you want the full list of everything we carry that's in our, you know, in the program, you just can copy and this is all the top sellers or you can just look through this video and copy whatever we're scrolling through right here. Um, so in every order, we don't order every single thing. It just depends on their dates, our par level, how, how our inventory is going. Because if we order a pallet of Mountain Dew this week, probably won't need one until the next week. So with that done, we then go to see right up here, 426 items. Pickup fee uh, is free. It's not charging me. And we're gonna save $4 on the order. You go to begin checkout. The right Sam's Club. You can text the order. Great, select pickup time and date. I'm gonna to do tomorrow, so that's good too. As, as soon as tomorrow, it is able to be uh, picked up. So to tomorrow, Wednesday at 7 a.m., save that. 
And also right here, sales tax. I pay sales tax on the product and then back it out uh, later on down the road. So let me just make sure we're all good there. Place order. There we go. So there's the confirmation. Everything's all set. Michael, my name is Michael Adam Hill. I go by Adam. So there's why you might be confused. 6,400 and they will be ready by tomorrow at 7 a.m. It's great, great service that Sam's Club offers. I'm not sure if Costco and other ones do it, but I'm, I know Restaurant Depot does that. So to be able to pick up your items like that, put in your order online, be done with it. Um, let's get this a question here. I want to buy a vending machine as a student. Where can I get one? Well, the first thing, it doesn't matter if you're a student or not. Vending machines do not discriminate. Do not discriminate. If you have the right plan, if you have the right, the four keys, location, machines, service, and pricing, doesn't matter how old you are, you can uh, get started. Depends on where you live. If you're, in the, if you're in America, I would Google vending distributors near me. If you're looking for a snack machine, AMS snack machine. If you're looking for a drink machine, Vendo 21 series. Now those are hard to find at this current time, August 2022, very hard to find. And to get new, there is a long wait. It's part of the reason that we have stockpiled here five or six uh, Vendo 721s deals that we have come across along the, along the, the way because uh, we don't have to run into that situation. If we get a location, we have the machines ready, prepped, ready to go. If you guys have any other questions, let me know uh, in the comments down below. Excited. Remember, we have the private Facebook group for everybody who gets into the vending program. Hillvending.com forward slash course. Uh, wanted to share another kind of interesting thing, if I can pull that up here. So we got the Sam's Club order in. All right, so that's all good. Just a funny side note, I saw this on, uh, drop your questions in the comments if you have any. We're gonna get in here to, uh, I think it's this one. Let me see. While I wait on that, MBM Vending, have been watching your channel for a while, now finally started a vending business and YouTube channel as well. Awesome, go follow MBM Vending. Go follow them, give them a subscribe. Um, can't find it right now. They're playing game. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. So there's a vending Facebook group. If you guys are in vending Facebook groups, I love this comment. Check this out. This is vending nation. Maybe I'm becoming a hateful person, but it bothers me how this guy always makes these childish faces on YouTube for his thumbnails. Um, good material though. Uh, edit since y'all are so mad. I follow the guy and enjoy his videos. Take a chill pill. People in the comments kind of went off on this guy. All right. I watch his videos. Very helpful. Adam's a great guy. I met him a few times. You know, they see through the reason that you, the reason you have to do the little silly YouTube is because that's, you have to get attention. It's a clip, clickbait thumbnail thing, right? If I just posted a picture of a vending machine, um, Adam's a great guy. I've met him a few times. Look at that soy face. I got a soy face. Always giving great face, giving faces and great content. Uh, Adam, look at that. Look at that coming out of the woodworks right there. Okay. So I just thought that was funny that the YouTube community, which coming up soon in, um, the next video, probably this week I had someone reach out to me on YouTube who, um, who wanted to buy that Red Bull vending machine in Indiana. So I'll break down the numbers of how much it sold for, uh, the shipping cost of that, and how I go about shipping a machine. It's actually the first machine I've shipped. So it's a little um, educational content right there. Let me get to the comments here. Jackson Abel, let's see. Is AMS your favorite vending machine supplier? I'm having a really tough time with selected VIN through Wittern. Yeah, the Wittern group um, would be number two. Um, I would go with AMS if you can. AMS Snack Machine is by far, uh, over m the course of eight years of doing this, they have surpassed um, every other snack machine manufacturer 
build quality, compatibility, ease of use, programming, everything is, uh, you know, you're going to pay a little bit more. You're going to pay a little bit more for the Mercedes Benz, but if you don't want to have any issues and you want to have a, uh, an easy setup, just sold four older machines to a gentleman who's setting up a school here in Tampa or over in Tampa. I'm in Pinellas County and a middle school and a high school, 1300 kids. And he bought older equipment. I, even before he bought the equipment, I told him you probably should go ahead and buy brand new equipment. If you have that much volume, uh, you're probably not going to want the older, the older style equipment. And you know, he only wanted to spend like a thousand per machine. So I told him and he still wanted to buy it. So he bought it, installed it. I actually called him today and asked him how it was going. He said the machines are getting absolutely hammered, getting wiped out of product from, uh, they had to move another machine in because he said the little kids were acting in his own words. He said he called them gremlins. They are eating all of the, uh, all the snacks. If it was me, brand new AMS, two five wides, two 721s, maybe throw in a little glass front there for your juices and stuff, but I would rather have an AMS bottle drop with coils than deal with a glass front. I know BevMax and all the uh, all the, the glass fronts all have their problems. Um, but yeah, great location, put in great machines. You can get click lease, the, the link down below, click lease, they can finance up to 15 or 20,000, you have to put zero money down. Put zero money down, buy 20,000 equipment, have the equipment pay the loan. Simple process, here to help you out. Richard, in the house with candy prices going up in the past week, has Hill Vending raised your price on those items? Yes, you have to get a minimum of $1.50 for chocolate um, now. Another strategy is instead of doing a full row, let's say 10, 12 selections of chocolate, start cutting that back. Cut that down to, um, you know, four or five. Put in your M and M peanuts, your Snickers, your big, uh, your main sellers that move, and put in Oreos, nutty buddy. Something that has a little chocolate, but it's a thirty-five cents or it's a forty cents. You don't have to offer. Um, you do not have to offer a full row of candy, especially when it's going ninety cents, when it's going astronomical. Um, you have to, you have to, that's why the four keys location, machines, service, and pricing. If you don't have the pricing, right, you're doing all this volume and your margins are blown out of the water and you don't make any money. So yes, $1.50 chocolate when you're spending 70, 80, 90 cents now, uh, keep an eye out too for the variety packs. We just picked up probably 20, 30 cases for 65 cents a bar. Keep them in your refrigerator. Keep them in your AC home, in your house. Um, let's see what else we have here. Bright boy. That's an interesting graphic. Uh, do you write off your car, trucks that you use for your business? And have you ever thought of starting a management company to pay your business for additional write-offs? We write off everything that we possibly can. Um, the only thing you have to get to when you have cars and trucks and you want to put them in your business, then you have to have commercial uh, commercial insurance on it. So like say my truck, which I use uh, as a daily driver, uh, it has to have commercial insurance on it. Whereas, so you're talking triple the amount of insurance. So it's not always, it just depends. You just have to run the numbers and see. Um, but yeah, the box truck is paid for. All the, all the vehicles are paid for, but yeah, the insurance, the trailers, all that stuff. Um, have you ever thought of starting a management company to pay your business for additional tax? No, I haven't, I haven't got into that. I haven't got that deep in the, uh, in the game, but just, just, uh, who knows, but they just hired 87,000 more IRS agents, Hill Vending. They may be coming after me. So please subscribe, click the like button. Hopefully, um, you know, everything at Hill Vending is above board. You know, we are a quality organization, but with 87,000 IRS agents uh, getting hired, who knows? They might come at your boy. Uh, let's see. 
I have seven new machines on order and love the select event, just not a great experience. Thing AMX necessary. Yeah, you're welcome. The the difference is once you use an AMS machine, once you use an AMS machine and you realize they reset the coils, when you realize that they're interchangeable, when you realize the quality of construction, the build quality, the programming, uh, especially on their snack machines. When you get into the com uh, refrigerated combo machines, the refrigeration deck can be a little bit touchy, but uh, you know, it's, it's something you do. Kent G in the house, awesome info. Been following your channel for some time, been up and running, implementing for uh, implementing a few of your practices, almost 2,500 gross in the last four months. Awesome, awesome. Yes, it is all about the locations, but that's great to get started, get the experience. You know, you don't have to put in whatever those uh, $1,000 SAM, $6,000 SAM stub orders. Understand the concept, understand the concept, get your service schedule down. It should be fun and easy. Vending isn't super stressful and hard. It's a very uh, simple business. It's not easy. You need strategies and, and tools to be able to uh, implement the right way, but um, you all can do it. So just start small, just like that. A few months, generate some income, roll the money back into it. Just talk to two people today who want to get started uh, in the program for a, for a uh, family, for their, for their kids, something to do. Um, with their sons so simple business to teach and get started on help oh yeah there we go okay all right well hope everybody has a great day remember get the free download hillvending.com forward slash start check out the courses ebooks if you need more help but remember most importantly until next time keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh